muckers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, we are just gonna have a fun video today. I am uploading this early in the morning. Thank you to everyone who watched my video. I uploaded really early yesterday as well and so many of you checked it out. So if you're here, let me know what time it is for you and if you're watching later on, I still fucking love you too. I've never really uploaded early in the morning because I normally upload late at night. So it was fun to do that. So I'm gonna do it again today. So I'm gonna look at this like just a, you know, little extra video. What we're going to be doing today is looking at the reason Gabby Hanna left social media, deleted all of her videos, went silent on everything. I mean deleted tweets, deleted Facebook posts, deleted Instagram stories, deleted Instagram videos, all of the YouTube videos, blacked out on all social media, gone, telling Keemstar that she's left the internet forever. We are going to be looking at the reason she did that, which is as predicted, she has released a new song and there is a music video with it. Nay! My full thing is, I feel like all of us saw this coming. I know on my channel we basically said that this is what Gabby does whenever she wants attention on her music. And I'm not even saying that as in like, oh, she wants attention. I'm saying like, whenever she wants all eyes on like a project she's working on, she'll normally either, you know, speak about some drama or she'll like go completely silent and then come back with it. So she took the approach of going silent and we haven't seen that from a while for her because she hasn't really released music in a bit. However, she's now back with this new song. She has an album coming out. We've done this in the past where we've listened to and reacted to on my channel, different Gabby Hanna music. Uh, we've done it with Trisha Paytas. We've done it with different YouTubers. We've even done it with like Jeffrey and Shane. And I just think it's so interesting and I love hearing your opinion in the comments below and I love having a conversation starter. So let's get into it. I'm excited. We have a music video, we have a song, it is called, let me get to this, it is called Happy in the End. So again, it's important to note that this is the reason that we were talking about that Gabby deleted everything. In the past, I have talked about that Gabby as a person is like a red flag to me. However, I appreciate some songs, some, that she releases. I enjoy the production, I sometimes enjoy the lyrics, I enjoy, I always say this, I think Gabby is like crazy, but I love that she's so passionate about her music. Like, you can call her deranged, you can call her anything, like in terms of trying to get attention to her music, but there's something so fascinating and alluring to me that someone so desperately wants me to listen to their music or perceive them as an artist, that I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. I'm bored, but also it's like curious to me and I feel like we've seen so many YouTubers cross over into trying to do music and it kind of doesn't do well or they get made fun of and they stop. With Gabby, she's never stopped. So I like going in, fresh ears, reacting to the song, reacting to the video as if I don't know who Gabby Hanna is. So this is gonna be fun. Please, let's do this together. Let's pretend that we do not know who Gabby Hanna the YouTuber is. And we're at a record company, and we have been provided with this new song by this new indie artist, and we have a music video alongside it. And let's listen to it, watch the video, and then listen to it again, like in separate parts, and just review it and say what our opinion is of it. So Gabby, please, please do not copyright or strike this video. If you want this video down, don't do that to my video. Just let me know. Email me. Business emails on my channel. Just let me know and I'll take it down. However, this is a whole set of fresh ears to your music. I know we're saying we don't know you, but like, whatever. And so many people last year when we did the reaction to her, like, EP and stuff were like, oh, I don't really like Gabby, but I'm listening to the song because of this. So Gabby, it's in your best interest. Like, we're, we're not doing this to, like, necessarily make fun of you. We're going into this with open mind. So, first things first, the album cover. What do we think about this? I think that this is really dope. I know that Gabby does a lot of painting and art herself, and I think this is really, really, really cool. I love the love, the style of painting that she does. I think it is so weird, and I really appreciate that in art because I feel like art these days is so particular. And with this, I think it's just very Halloween-y. So maybe this is like a Halloween-esque song. So happy in the end, it is three minutes long. What we're just gonna do is listen to it and react to it. So this is my first time listening to it. I don't know if it's yours. Let's get our honest opinions. One, are we ready? One, two, three, let's go. I don't know what to expect. Slow. My 
Okay, so we're already starting the song about going away and removing yourself from a situation, which is topical to what Gabby has done. Okay. <laughs> All right. The vocal delivery is not what I was expecting straight away. It's also not what I was expecting the intro for a comeback song to be. Not necessarily in a bad way, just in an intriguing way. I thought we were going to get like a intense song, like a sc screaming song. That may still come, but I thought it was going to be more. I'm intrigued. I thought she was going to say cocaine there. You feel safer here, but we're sober now in the cold. Okay, first opinions on the vocals, very breathy, and I'm enjoying the delivery of it. I think the delivery is quite nice, it's quite soft, which I appreciate whenever I'm listening to, oh, I don't know this artist, sorry, but say I did know this artist. I appreciate in Gabby's songs because Gabby's more so known for the like intense punchy things. So I appreciate seeing a little bit of diversity. All right. I build up. All right, we're 40, 50 minutes in, very slow so far, very breathy. Not something I normally expect from Gabby, and I am appreciating it. However, I heard the music dip down, so I expect that it's going to get a lot more intense. Here we go. Interesting. Okay, okay. Unpopular opinion, that's my favorite thing about Gabby Hanna songs, and it's normally people's main criticism. You know where she's like, ah! <laughs> such a bad thing. Whenever it's like so like raspy without shouting, like <laughs> my throat is so dry that I can't do it. I can't stop myself. Like that. <laughs> Clearly I have no room to judge. I enjoy that about Gabby's songs, and most people criticize her for that. I think, like, the raspiness is something we normally don't hear in songs because it's normally something that's, like, edited out, but it's, like, what Gabby plays into the... I can't stop! <laughs> so, such an awful interpretation of it, but you get the point. I can't do it, which means that, like, great, I guess. Sacrifice your sanity. I liked that. I like that part. Okay, I build up. Okay, so a very nostalgic song I'm hearing from the lyrics, clearly. What happened to the days gone by? I'm enjoying the vocals over here, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I want to know if you like that. You know where she's like, Back you know that part where she's like almost like where you know she's like going away from the mic and like shouting a bit I like that. I like that in songs. I like when you can like feel Whatever they're trying to do in this case. It sounds like a bit of just like angst and anger I appreciate it because I'm so used to like cookie cutter pop songs from Most people I guess that's one thing you can credit to this artist. We do not know I don't know if you hear it, but there's actually interesting background vocals there. Like a, uh... Good background vocals. Okay, that bit's a bit intense for me. That shouting, like, or at least loudly singing. But I know that there's probably, if I'm correct, if I can predict, there is going to be like, ah, da, 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 and then it's going to go, ah, yeah, like, down again. Us. 
I am a musical genius. <laughs> Oh, interesting background vocals. Ooh, that part was interesting. She had some vocal performance going on in the background. She normally hides a lot of that, which is interesting. But she definitely had some, like, in the background. The instrumental sounds nice, by the way. Ooh, a little double vocal there. I'm enjoying this. It doesn't sound like any song I've heard from Gabby before, which is nice. Oh wow, that ending was intense. I liked it. I liked it. However, I do need to say one thing. The start of the song sounds very similar to... What's that song by Pink? Hold on. I am I Don't Believe You by Pink. Um, I don't mind it, I don't mind at all. That pink song, it sounds very similar. Yeah, okay, it sounds very similar to pink in that part, but I get, and the vocal performance is quite similar to, um, that ask of pink, but we have this music video here, and it was titled But Before I Go, and it's, for the song. I have not watched this either, however, I have been messaged by multiple people that this video is a lot and very Gabby Hanna. So we can only predict what that means. Alright, let's get into it. Where are we? Where are we? I'm so confused. Oh shit. I can feel you what the fuck? Girl, where are you? What is going on? Oh, we're we're getting crazy, Gabby. Is this gonna be a low budget video? being ruined with a video like this. No! Girl, this song is good. You could have given a video, please. I'm begging that this song, that this video is not taken like this the entire way through. Like, I hope that there's at least a little bit of change, because then I can, like, justify it. Please! Where's the budget? But <sighs> am I the only one Still about your days. Did you find your sense of peace? Lord, please. I hope you forget. Gabby. Gabby, I'm really disappointed that this is the video. I'm really disappointed that this is the video. The song's good! Give us storyline! Give us video! Production! Come on! You deleted everything! The song's good! Give us... I mean, maybe people like this video. Listen. 
I mean, I understand why she's doing this. I mean, she's doing this video because she was doing this stuff on TikTok of like acting like goofy or crazy and people were eating it up because they were like, oh my god, she's so insane. And I get it, like it'll, people will share your song more if it's doing this, but I don't know, I would have really appreciated a nice video. Because I think the song's good. Listen, at a bare minimum, I appreciate that there's editing in different shots. This just could have been so much more. I actually enjoy her vocals and the delivery on the song and the production. All I'll say is I hope that there's a better music video on the way. I'm so over this like crazy character that she's like doing that like provokes people on TikTok to talk about her because it delegitimizes the, the, the song for so many people. Like, I'm able to see past it because I enjoyed the song, but I'm just, like, disappointed that this is the video. And I mean that as a criticism, but I also don't mean it as a criticism because, like, I don't mean to take away from anything, but it's just, like, come on. Um... I like the end part of this with the vocals. I like here. I like that. The constant build up and then just ending it. song is so expressive. I feel like there could have been a video that would have warranted everything being deleted. Talking about like happier in the end, wishing someone well, or maybe you don't wish someone well, or you're talking about the past, you're talking about nostalgia, you could have played different characters, it could have even not been you in the video, it could have like... I understand the purpose of that video. The TikTok reasons, and I also understand the simplicity of it. I really do. And I appreciate at a bare minimum that there's editing on it. But I just think that they're like... For the song being so... Yeah, yeah, like that. The video should also be punchy. Punchy. It also sounds so Halloween-y. So it could have been a dark-themed video. Like... I don't know if Gabby's ever done this, but I think what a really cool video could have been would have been her going to a funeral of, like, her past self. Has she done this before? I don't know. But the funeral is showcasing all of her old content and all of the old, you know, things that she's done. I think that would have been so dope. Maybe picture frames of, like, different moments of her career that she's now deleted or something like that or mourning her. I don't know if she's done that before. My overall take on it, I want to know yours, is I... There's always something so intriguing to me about Gabby's music. And I feel like this song didn't disappoint, for me personally. The video just... I'm so over, like... That, like... 
oh my god, like if I move this way, TikTok kids will repost the video, like making fun of me, saying I'm so crazy. Like there could have been a really beautiful video for that. Especially warranting the like blackout of the social media. But that's my take on it. I want to know what your opinion is. We'll talk about it below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're well. Drink some water, bitch. And bye.